Monday and welcome to a brand new ring vlog with really crappy lighting and it's 10.30 at night. So I'm starting this vlog really freaking late because I haven't been reading all day. I've actually been editing my reading vlog from last week as well as the almost adulting mini review and yeah, uh, cleaning out my computer, my hard drive, my SD cards because all my SD cards are screaming at me. They were full, so yeah, I spent my day doing mindless stuff that I didn't really want to do instead of reading because gotta get done. Um, yeah, so I'm just now getting to bed and I'm hoping to read while well, this light is getting really freaking bright. Oh my god. <sighs> That'll work. Yeah, I turned that on because I only have these lights for my bedroom. I mean, I could turn my overhead light on, but then that'd mean I have to turn it off and get back up and, you know, if I decide I want to go sleep, I don't want to get up. I am determined to finish Discovery of Witches. Like, last week just did not turn out the way I thought it would. Um, I have that much left to go. That much left to go. And, ah, uh, I just really want to be done with it. Like, it's a horrible thing to say, but you know, like, when you're really excited about a book and then it takes you forever to read it and then towards the end you're just kind of like, oh, I want to be done with this, I want to... I mean, I already know what's going to happen, so I mean, I can't really even say I, I want to know what's going to happen because I have to reread, but I really want to watch the freaking TV show, but I want to finish reading the book first. Well, reading the book again before we watching the TV show. So, over the weekend, that was interesting, you know, doing a lot of housework. Yeah, and then today I ended up having to do a couple of mindless tasks and trying to get some stuff done. So I'm going to have to cut back on how much I talk. This wasn't a problem when I first started reading vlogs. I don't know, I guess I just got so comfortable in front of the camera now. It's just not an issue, but I talked so freaking much last week. I have, like two and a half hours to edit. I don't, and I don't like editing. Like, <laughs> I don't. Five minutes in and I'm done. I do not have the attention span for it. It's not a favorite task of mine. So going through two hours of footage is a. So I started editing. Sorry, my arm's starting to hurt. So I keep switching back between arms. Uh, so I started editing that. My goal is to get it up Wednesday. I had to finish editing my mini review. And it looks kind of blurry and I'm trying to figure out why and I think it's because I imported the video on a higher frame rate than I filmed it in. So I think that's why I'm just too lazy to go back in and change anything. Sorry if you watched that and you thought it was blurry. Yeah, I also need to fix the white balance. Like that was like the thing that really frustrated me and took up a lot of my time this morning. When I was editing that mini review, I couldn't get the white balance to look right because I forgot to take it off auto and you're not supposed to film an auto actually like and like hold it hush you in my room and like picking up books and everything it'll like change so it went from like really cool to really warm to really cool again and I put in a couple of transitions to hopefully like not make that as dramatic and I tried fixing it and editing it wasn't working I turned myself green at one point it was just it was not a good <laughs> I don't know what I was doing it wasn't very good so I had to remember to do that I actually I'm creating this checklist for filming now but yeah that basically took up my entire day cleaning up my SD cards cleaning up my Google Drive cleaning up my computer now I need to clean up my external drive um, editing the videos I need to finish editing my reading vlog tomorrow I'm trying to think is there anything else I need to do tomorrow I still have a to-do list to do um, but even though I'm tired, I'm going to try to see if I can get through chapter 28 and seeing what I can do tonight. Normally, I don't like reading before bed because I'll stay up, but I'm like really determined to at least read a chapter today because I kept saying, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, and then I didn't do it. But a lot of things also popped up and took more time than I thought they would. I am on chapter 28. I'm going to read to chapter 29 and I will see what time it is. I'm probably not going to check in again until tomorrow whenever I do that.
welcome to another late night check-in. It is actually Wednesday. My cheeks look so red. <laughs> Sorry, uh, it is actually Wednesday. It is one o'clock in the morning. I didn't check in Tuesday, although I'm technically like counting this as Tuesday because I meant to, but I was like, I was so distracted today. I couldn't get like a lot done, but I did read some and I'm sorry, my cat's about to jump on my TBR shelf and she's probably gonna knock over a bunch of stuff. Whoa, yep, no. Yep, that happened. Well, that's always fun when she starts jumping on my TBR shelf and knocking a bunch of stuff over. She did it earlier, so some of the books are kind of all over the place. But yeah, I didn't check in today, but I did read. Uh, I just kept forgetting to pick up the camera. It's still like not a habit for me. But I'm sure as I continue doing videos, I will get used to it. So I'm actually on chapter 32 and the tone has actually changed. It used to be like this cozy, like slow going, very descriptive. And now it is picked up. Like shit is happening. It is one thing after another. And it is so addicting. The things going on with Matthew and Diana and like the family and then the congregation. And it's just like, oh my god. And there's like so much stuff that I didn't remember. And it's just, I want to stay up and read. But I have art class tomorrow. I have to get up for that and I also have to finish editing my reading vlog because from last week because I want to get that out tomorrow, today, technically. But yeah, I'm so tempted to read. I'm 406 pages in. So yeah, I have almost 580 pages in this book and I'm only just now reaching 400. Yeah, I still have a good chunk left but it is really good and I think think I can get done this week and finally watch the TV show. I have had some people reach out to me on Bookstagram saying that they really like the TV show. Watching the trailer though, I'm kind of skeptical because I can already tell some of the things that they changed. I'm just not sure whether or not I'm going to enjoy those changes. Some changes is fine, like, you know, people want to add their creative take on things, you know, that's fine, whatever. Um, also, with a book this long, and especially with how detailed it was in the beginning, I can see them trying to, like, cut that down and trying to fit as much as possible into the, I believe it's 10 episodes they have. I think they're an hour long. I, I don't know exactly. So, I mean, I can see why they would change some things, but I'm just not sure how I feel about it. I'm kind of go- I'm trying not to think negatively about it and trying to keep an open mind so that it doesn't affect my- opinion of it. I do think that I'm going to be actually doing like a, a kind of like a reaction um, in this vlog if I get to it for this week. So yeah, I'm going to go to bed before I read until like 5 o'clock in the morning because I'm so tempted to do that. I read until uh, I believe 1 last night too. So yeah, I have just been really into this book. Hello loves, welcome to Wednesday. It is a little after 10 p.m. I haven't checked in today. I'm finding a theme of this week, checking in at the very last moment. Uh, yeah, today I did not get as much reading in as I thought I would in the morning because I had art class and that kind of swallows up like two hours of my morning and I just didn't want to get up this morning so that also had an effect. Yeah, most of my day though I spent trying to edit my reading vlog from last week which is currently uploading now or at least trying to because my internet kind of sucks at the moment. So yeah, that is going to be up. I'm currently reading and I'm on chapter 35. It has definitely picked up in pace and so has my reading pace because of that. Uh, it's just like I'm getting more excited and I'm kind of like skimming a bit more. There is one scene that kind of bothered me and it's where Matthew was like pushing Diana after the, the incident with the congregation witch and it just kind of irked me how he pushed her and the way that went about. It just was like this could go really really badly and like there's another way to get her out of a slump and like he didn't even try in my opinion to try like other things. He just kind of like took her he basically, she was like really vulnerable, she found out some stuff about her parents, she was thinking some negative stuff, and instead of just being like, okay, let's talk about it, he was just like, no, I'm gonna go like full force and try to push you out of it and like force you to accept something. And maybe it's because of my stubborn nature, but if someone tries to force me to do something, I'm less likely to do it unless there's like a reasonable explanation for me to do it. Like, taxes. I don't know, I guess that's like the best thing that came to mind. You don't technically like have to have to do them but if you don't you're gonna go to jail so even though people don't want to do them they do them anyway that's kind of like the same thing it's like she knows she needs to do this just 
give her a little bit of time to kind of come to terms with it. And he just was like, no, no time. Gotta do this now. Wasn't a fan of that. I am liking the fact that there is some comedy going on during these like really serious moments. And it had definitely has become a lot more serious. Like, in the beginning, it was cozy. It was slower paced. It was really setting up the story and setting up the atmosphere and everything else. And But it was also, I think, setting up for this turn. Uh, when it went from a more, I don't want to say lighthearted, but I guess like softer novel. It wasn't as serious. And it really picked up. It went darker. And it became a lot more serious and a lot more fast paced. I'm not sure if I'm explaining explain this right. I'm kind of tired, so uh, my brain is just like, eh, no thinking for tonight. Yeah, um, I'm not sure how tomorrow is gonna go. I am gonna read for as long as I can. I have been reading and staying up pretty late until I stayed up until one. I stayed up until one last night. I will say that I think that might also be affecting like my mood and my like attention span throughout the day. Like this reading vlog probably shouldn't have taken me as long as it did to edit. Now I did have like over two hours of footage to edit and I definitely got it down to I believe 45. So I mean that's good. It's still one of my longer vlogs and I rambled far too much. But at the same time, I think that the, the fact that I'm staying up later and I'm kind of reverting to older habits is affecting my sleep schedule. It's affecting, like, my energy level and my focus. Yeah, uh, I can't say that's a very good thing, but I am just, like, I really want to push through this. I really want to finish it and start watching the TV show. I think I'm, if time permits, tomorrow, because I think there's going to be some stuff that I want to try to focus on. Um, and if I haven't finished the book tomorrow, I'm just going to binge watch the seasons anyway and then finish the book while I'm doing that. I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to do, I can't remember what subscription service that it is, but I'm basically going to do a free trial. I'm going to watch it and I'm not going to pay for it because free trial and I don't have anything else I want to watch on that service thing. I just don't want to buy it and not know if I'm going to like it. So I believe, I want to say it's $20 for season one. Yeah. I don't have $20 to drop at the moment, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it does bother me a little bit that it's just, like, so hard to watch this. It's the same thing with Outlander. Like, it kind of pissed me off that they made it so difficult to watch. Like, you have to do a subscription service or you have to buy it. And I was just like, I didn't know whether or not I liked it that much. I was just kind of going off of the stuff that I saw on, like, YouTube and everything. I did take the job and I did buy that, and I do love Outlander. It's great. But now it's on Netflix. I'm just kind of a little... A little ticked. Now, for Outlander, they do have season two, I believe, on Netflix. I haven't watched that yet. I want to. So that's good. I don't have to buy that. And that's on Netflix. Uh, but yeah, Discovery Witches, it's kind of a little difficult to watch, in my opinion. And that worries me slightly. I might even start watching it tomorrow. Now, I do know most of my day kind of went to uh, Netflix by accident last night and today I got wrapped into this Netflix series like Asian drama uh, I think it's called Well Intended Love and yeah uh, those types of t like shows like normally they're only one season and it wraps up the entire story but it, it's like 20 to 25 to more episodes that are an hour long and it's just an like an Asian drama, a soap opera for some of them, and I just get so wrapped up. And a lot of it's funny, like, I don't quite get some of the, I guess, the cultural stuff and, you know, how their society works and just some of, like, the gestures, the facial expressions that some of them do and some, like, the embarrassing stuff that I don't quite get. But then again, I'm not, I'm not sure if that's, like, common for their shows or if it's just for like the drama or something. I don't know. If you if you watch them, I'm assuming you know what I'm talking about. It's just like there's some of this stuff that's just like really embarrassing. I'm just like, really? Yeah, my day kind of went to that by accident. That, I've been jumping between like watching that and then editing my reading vlog. And I know you're not supposed to do that, but after like sitting there for like 10 to 15 minutes trying to go through the vlog, I don't like watching myself. I don't like listening to myself talk and sitting there trying to like cut out all the ums and the silence and figuring out like what parts I want to keep and what rambles I want to delete and make sure everything you know looks right and then adding like transitions and adding text and music to parts and b-roll it was just uh, it was a lot and I do not have the attention span for that at all uh editing is the worst thing about YouTube I do not like it there's at one point 
when it was kind of fun. I think I had Filmora on my PC. And I was having fun with that, messing with like the presets and the tra transitions and all that sort of stuff. But now that my time is a bit more limited and I'm trying to like cram as much stuff as possible into it. Editing is just one of the things that I just don't want to do anymore. I don't want to learn about it. I don't want to deal with any of it. I just wanted to spend two minutes editing it, getting it uploaded. Uh, I'm going to try to see how far I can get through tonight. I I have over a hundred pages left. And there's no way I'm going to finish tonight. Like, I already know that. I'm yawning. I'm tired. Uh, I'm mentally exhausted. I know I will still want to read and I'm still excited about it. But I do know that there's no way I'm going to get it done tonight. I just want to see if I can... Read a few more chapters and see how far I can get before I need to go to bed. I am hoping to finish it probably by Friday. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to start watching like the show before I finish the book because I've gotten through most of the, the parts that, like I don't remember. And by the time that I get to the TV show part that is equivalent to the part that I'm reading, I'm already be done with the book. So that's kind of... The plan. Oh yeah, yesterday I actually spent a good deal of my time putting up these new lights. Yeah, I will try to include a better shot than that, but I found these Christmas lights. I really, I love having these lights. I have two really harsh lights in my room. And they're LEDs and they're great and everything and they're better than the lights that I used to have in my room But sometimes when you're just trying to relax while also get some work done those lights are kind of harsh and uh, I just wanted more uh, Christmas lights more softer light and I found these and I thought it'd be really great It just kind of goes across my ceiling and it gives me a good bit of light and per I'm not sure how it shows up on camera but for my eye, it's a nice cozy feeling and it gives me enough light that I can work and get some stuff done while not feeling like stressed and overwhelmed and have that harsh light. For me, visual does affect a lot of what I f do and I feel in my, like my work flow, if that makes any sense at all. So I didn't mention that yesterday, I meant to, and I also wanted to get a clip of them. I thought about filming while I was putting them up but I decided not to do that because I had no idea what I was going to be doing and like how I was going to be keeping them up so I just opted not to do that and I really like the result I'm glad I actually took the time to do it was it a good use of my time considering everything else I want to do probably not but it was a good use of my procrastination all right so that is all for this checkup I'm going to get back to reading and seeing how far I can get in Discovery Witches So it is after 8 o'clock and I just finished Discovery Witches. Yeah, the last couple chapters were the hardest because it was so emotional. Everyone was saying goodbye and it was just like the seriousness of it, you could, you could feel it. And I just love it. I'm so happy that I reread it. I know I was like upset that it took me so long to get through it, but honestly, it's worth it. It's worth reading it. I am planning on doing a review of it. I know I'm kind of late and everyone has done a review on it at this point, but I really just kind of want to sit down and figure out what I want to say about it and do a short review and just kind of talk about it a little bit. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to watch the TV show tonight. I am going to wait until tomorrow afternoon to start that and see whether or not it lives up to the book. I am debating about reading, starting to read book two tonight um but I do have to get up early tomorrow so it's one of those things which like do I wanna or do I wanna wait <laughs> but yeah it is such an amazing book now I'm kind of sad though I'm just like I'm sad that it's over I am a little worried about you know what the next book holds especially with some of the like the conversations between Hamish and Diana at the end I'm just kind of like okay what what's gonna happen <laughs> 
Is this like foreshadowing? Uh, is, or is Matthew going to like become someone we don't want him to be? And it's basically the same thing that I went through last time. I remember going through last time when I finished Discovery Witches. I'm just like, oh, okay. Maybe I'm I'm not ready. I'm so happy I finished it. But I'm gonna relax for a little bit tonight. I'm going to watch some Merlin and then I am thinking about starting to edit this week's reading vlog and then also do some planning for my videos and everything because I haven't done that at all and I need to do it. And now I don't have an excuse anymore since I finished the book. <laughs> Hi, how are you? It is Sunday. I have no idea when I tried to last. I wanna say it was Friday, but it was probably Thursday. So, quick update, um, I ended up reading quite a bit and I'm really happy about it. I actually started the Four Horsemen series by Laura, um, last name I'm blanking on, I'll put it on the screen or something. And, oh my god, they're so great. I decided that I really just wanted to read, you know, book one, I just wanted to read something and I read the sample and I really enjoyed it. So, I decided just to buy it, the ebook, and I read all of it Friday and then... Yesterday, I actually wrote my Discovery Witches book review because I decided I wanted to get my thoughts down on the book and write that review before I watch the TV show, which I'm actually going to be doing today. I got it up on my TV at the moment. Alright, so there's eight episodes in Discovery Witches, the TV show, and I was going to watch four yesterday and then four today. That way, I still had like, some time to get some work done. That did not happen, obviously, because I read book two and the, Ho the Four Horsemen wore... Famine is next. I don't know when it's gonna be published. I'm so freaking excited. The covers are gorgeous and I stayed up until I want to say it was 11, 11 30 that I finished it and I read all of it yesterday and I, I don't feel guilty. Like <laughs> it's such a good book but yeah yesterday just didn't happen the way I planned as per usual. I did write my book review for Discovery which is I wrote down my thought for Pestilence because I'm gonna be doing a book review on that. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be working on the rest of my stuff. I still have to do my ink cart book review, which is like way overdue. Thankfully, I do have my book notes on that already, so I'm good. And then I, I've already set up my pestilence and my war book review stuff on my blog because I take a lot of time making sure the images are right, uh, inputting all the information. So now all I have to do is go in and then put in my actual review. So that's great. All that's taken care of. I'm also going to be doing video book reviews on them, so that's probably going to be happening Monday. Don't know when they're all going to go out, but this is my last week. This upcoming week is my last week before school, but I'm probably going to be starting to work on school stuff anyway. I'm going to see if my teachers have been very lovely and helpful, and I've already uploaded our syllabus. And I'll start doing, uh, planning for that, doing all the stuff for that, and then also trying to catch up on everything I've been procrastinating on. But yeah, I am going to be watching the TV show today. Finally, this is what the entire vlog is about. I am on Sundance now, and I've done their free trial. I have no idea if there's anywhere else that you can get this. I know it's on Amazon and a couple other places, but every place that I looked, I either needed to buy it or I needed to, just, so, blah, blah, blah. I needed to subscribe to their service. So I just chose this one, and I'm doing the seven-day free trial, and I will... See, uh, I am planning on doing like not really a reaction, but I am gonna be like checking in with you guys a few times and giving you guys some of my thoughts. I'm also going to grab my journal real quick and have a note section for this because I used to keep it on my tablet, like you know, saving the environment with some using less paper, doing that sort of stuff, but Instagram. <laughs> and email and messenger and everything else like normally I'm really good at not clicking on that stuff if it pops up but a lot of people have been like actually DMing me and talking to me and I've been talking to a lot more friends lately and yeah I just I can see me getting distracted really easily so I'm just gonna grab my journal and then take all my notes in there and also just kind of talk to you guys about it at the same time, hopefully that won't make it like overly long. I'll probably just do a couple of check-ins per episode and just kind of give you my overall thoughts on it. I'm also trying not to spoil it for you guys. So if, if you see something on the screen, I think I'm just going to do that way. I'll tell you guys that there's probably going to be a spoiler if I know I'm going to be spoiling something for you. Sometimes I just babble and I have no idea. But I will put something on the screen. So for you guys that don't want to be spoiled... Just keep an eye out for what pops up on the screen, and I'll try to let you know well in advance, and I'll do that during the editing process, so I should be able to do that. 
Oh my god, I'm probably gonna watch the show. I'm so freaking excited. Oh, I also forgot to tell you guys, I started Shadow of Night after I finished Discovery Witches, and I have this really bad habit of getting really excited about a book and then spoiling it for me because I will flip through to random pages, and there are two things that I found that are like, oh my god, such spoilers, but I'm also really excited to read the book, and I think I'm gonna really like it, which is something that I was worried about after I finished Discovery Witches the first time. I did immediately go out and get Shadow Dyke, because so I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely going to read it. But I was also like, I really hope that this doesn't suck. Uh, I don't think it is. I do, I can already tell that it is going to be slightly different from Discovery, which is just like the pacing and, um, I'm trying to think of another way of describing it. But it just, it feels slightly different. It feels more, um, plot driven. And it could have just been the parts that I read. But it just kind of also, it just feels that way. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know that before I jump into this, because I'm probably going to forget to tell you guys after I start watching this. Alright, so I am 15 minutes in, and I can already tell a lot is different from the book. Now, it's not bad. I'm not, like, hating the differences. It's just, it's just different. It's just not through Diana's point of view or Matthew's. It, there's, at the moment, we're actually seeing another vampire. I want to say it's Marcus. Not 100% sure. Um, and it definitely has that usual paranormal, dramatic, spooky vibe. One thing that I'm not a huge fan of that I can already tell is the burn on Diana's hand. Why? I just, I don't see the point to that at the moment. Another check-in, but we just met Sarah and Emily, and I love who they got to play the parts. I think they're doing an amazing job. I can't remember the actress's name that plays Sarah, but she definitely has... <laughs> Uh, her down pat. She's just like she was in the book and I'm so happy about that. Alright, so I just finished episode one and it is really good. Really different from the books, but they kept the characters, um, personalities and everything relatively intact. They are staying on point with like the main plot line and everything going on. It's just like the scenes and everything aren't exactly like the books, which is fine. I mean, they want to make it more interesting to watch. Um, yeah, I actually think I'm gonna really enjoy it. Thank God, I was so worried. I'm just like, oh, I hate it when my favorite books like have bad movies or TV shows I don't enjoy. Kind of like Shadowhunters. I mean, it's not like a bad, bad TV show, but considering the fact that I was a fan of the movie and the books, I just didn't like what they changed with that TV show. So ever since then and a couple other bad adaptations, I'm just always really worried. At the moment, it looks like it's going to be following the main points and it's just taking some liberty with like the scenes and everything like that. And each of the scenes actually, you can tell why it's in there. Like Especially if you've read the books, you can kind of figure out why they did that scene and what the point was for it. So I really like that as well. There's not just like a bunch of meaningless stuff to make it look really, really cool or anything. So I'm gonna watch episode two. Okay, what is with the spider? That is so freaking creepy. Oh, I hate it. Mm, I hate spiders. I, I couldn't, I could barely watch uh, Chamber of Secrets because of all the freaking spiders. Oh my god. Ugh. It's just, it's, it's creepy. I don't like that. Also, is that Juliet at the beginning of episode two? I mean, I'm just kind of speculating and rambling a little bit, but I want to say that's Juliet, and I kind of find, like, I find it interesting that they're introducing her now, if it is Juliet, but not, it's like, not like a bad thing, it's kind of like an ominous thing that we know she's coming, but at the same time, I can see why it could be really confusing for people that don't read the books so they'll probably be like well what what was the point of that unless she's gonna be introduced later in this episode which goes way off track from the books so just talking here so i made it to episode four and we have met matthew's mom just now personally i expected her to look younger um i don't know just like the way i picture her in my head with the book and everything I just kind of assumed she would have looked like in her 30s probably also with her like her backstory but I guess because they're still trying to have some semblance of like normalcy with you know parents should look older I guess they went with that either that or they just wanted the actor that's playing her 
Either way, I mean, it's not like a bad thing. It's just I kind of like when I first saw her, I was just like, oh, kind of expected her to look on the same age as Matthew just because of the fact that they're vampires and everything. Other than that, I am really enjoying it. I don't mind the changes as much as I thought I would. I actually really think that it works for the TV show because if they would have followed the book more, I think it would have been longer than eight episodes for the season and it also would have been, I guess, harder to hold the audience's attention because of how much stuff was going on and the amount of time. So I think that the fact that they're making this more fast paced and tweaking things a little bit and having more setup works for the TV show. Uh, I still prefer the book and the way the book does it, but I understand like why they did it and I still like really enjoy the show. So I'm going to continue watching. All right, so I just finished Discovery of Witches. It is 6.30. I honestly thought it would take me a little bit longer. Oh my God, the show is so good. I'm so happy that I liked it. And I really like the fact that they really stayed true to the story and the things that they added in just made it better and didn't like mess anything up. So that was great. I also found it really interesting how a lot of it wasn't through Diana and Matthew's like point of view. So we got to see like more stuff going on throughout the season. I just looked it up and we're getting two more seasons. So it's probably following the second and third book. Hopefully they don't go any farther than that. And they just, you know, do the third book and that is it. Because I don't like it when a lot of series continue on past their books because a lot of times people the writers well they add their own flair to it but it just kind of loses something along the way so hopefully they will stop after book three which i think that will and they're just gonna follow with the main plot especially since like how much detail they left from the books yeah but i really loved it i'm so glad that i watched it and i'm also glad i just i dedicated an entire day to it honestly because i don't think i would have gotten anything else done until i finished it anyway I don't think I'll be doing a review on this or a like book to TV um, comparison or anything like that just because a lot of it's like so similar. Um, I just can't really think about anything to talk about when it comes to it as well as the fact that I'm just I'm getting lazy and uh, I already got enough to do so <laughs> it's just if you haven't watched it if you like the books you know give it a try. Um, see if you can do like a free trial like I did and just give it a shot. It really is an amazing show and I think if you guys like the books then you will also like the TV show. So I'm going to close up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog this week. I will see you soon in a brand new video.